It was described as Australia's real life when flew over the cuckoo's nest, the picturesque island on the Ha Caspery River, just an hour's drive from Sydney, which was a lunatic asylum from the early 1900s and then a mental health institution until 2001, finally closing in 2001. Geographically isolated by a guarded causeway from the mainland village of Muni Muni on the NSW Central Coast 50 kilometers north of Sydney, Peat Island was forbidden from public access during the years in which it housed hundreds of male and, later, female patients with congenital mental conditions and psychiatric illnesses. Peat Island, and in particular its feared Ward 4, was where naked, caged men and boys, some of whom ended up spending 50 years in padlock rooms, were kept, beaters from the water and with their views obscured through mesh-covered windows. One doctor visiting the mental institution, which is now planned as a multi-million dollar island resort and marina, described Ward 4 as a prison. The smell of human urine faces and vomit hit you the moment you entered, Dr. Ted Freeman said in his account of his year-long stay on the island in 1981. The patients were shouting, screaming, yelling, banging their heads walking or dragging themselves from one place to another apparently without purpose. Many had adopted the institutional constant rocking movement. Some were openly aggressive. It was one flew over the cuckoo's nest in reality, Dr. Freeman wrote in his book, Battle for the Injured Brain, co-authored by Dr. P.